We've got about 10 to 12 bars of space set up over here with a divider on either side. And this divider has two holes drilled into it so that we can put a feeder on the other side of the divider. Uh, you could cut the bottom off the divider if you want, just a quarter inch, or you can just cut two cork size holes like this. Either will work. Uh, but this way we can put the feeder on the far side and the bees won't end up building combs around it. There's a lot of different feeder designs, uh, but if you're in a pinch and you don't have one of our fancier feeders, you can take two little strips of wood like this, whatever, whatever you got, and these are going to act like skis to elevate our feeder. And so we can see I'm just going to set these on the bottom of the hive, like so. It'll make sense in a moment. And then we're going to take our jar, which this jar has one part sugar, one part uh, water. So it's a syrup we've made. And in the spring, you usually feed one part sugar, one part water. In the fall, you usually feed two part sugar, one part water. Uh, this just has tiny holes uh, knocked out of the lid. So you could use an ice pick or whatever you've got laying around, uh, but that will let you feed. And we're going to upturn it kind of over the hive, kind of let it drip for a second. This will kind of lead the bees to it and give them an idea that there's a feeder here. And we can see that it stopped dripping. Uh, it's not going to leak uh, like a lot of people think it will. And we're just going to set this right down here on top of these little skis I've made. And this way the bees can move under that, they can feed, and you could even have much longer sticks and have three or four jars if you want so that you don't have to come back so often. So now the feeder's ready. Uh, we're going to put these bars back and cover it up. And then we can slide them down a little. So now our feeder's on the other side. We have a hole to dump our package of bees into, and that's what we're going to do next. So this package, we can see here, it has a little piece of wood covering the hole, uh, and the bees are right under this. You can see that there's about 10,000 bees in the box. Uh, this one came by air, so when they come by plane, they don't let us ship them with a can of syrup in them. Your package may have a can of syrup hanging there that they're feeding from. In that case, you're just going to lift the can out uh, in lieu of this piece of wood. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the queen out. And you're going to see here, we don't have to be too gentle with them. We can really kind of roughhouse with them. So we're going to knock them to the bottom. And then we're going to slide this queen cage over. And that is the queen. And we're going to slide this back. And if you look in, if you look close, you can see under these bees, there's a queen running around in this cage. And on this end, there's a little pink cap. And inside, under this, is uh, fondant, or hard candy, that the bees are going to eat through to release their queen. Some of you may receive cages that are wooden, and these ones have a cork jammed into them. You're going to pull out that cork and then quickly put a marshmallow into it. If it's a plastic cage like this, you don't have to deal with any of that. You just pop this cap off, and then I have a nail here, and I'm going to jam this through the candy to kind of give the bees an idea that they should eat through this. So I'll try and push it through the best I can. Just kind of start a little hole. And this expedites things a little bit. Uh, it'll give the bees, again, the idea that they should eat through this, and then they'll release their queen. So now I'm going to lay her on the bottom of the hive, toward the, toward the end, where I'm going to be starting, where I'm going to be dumping these bees. And I lay her down rather than hang her, uh, because if you hang her, a lot of folks will tell you you should hang the queen cage from the top bars. If you do that, they tend to build their first comb around the top bar, and, uh, or around the cage, and then you end up with a very crooked comb. So we like to lay her in there unless the weather is very cold. In that case, you would still want to hang her. So now next, we just need to dump our bees in. So again, I'm going to knock them to the bottom, just like so. I'm going to move this out of the way, and now I'm going to dump. You can see I'm really just trying to get them all out the best I can. And I'm going to knock them against the ground once.
So now most of the bees are out of this package. We're going to lean this package up near the entrance uh, of your hive. So if it's on a stand like this, you might want to elevate it with a bucket. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to lay it kind of right over here. Uh, the bees that are in this entrance are going to be fanning their wings to tell the other bees where they're at. They should start moving up unless the weather really turns and gets too cold. And then next, I'm going to start putting the bars back. And if you look in, you can see we got bees covering the bottom of the hive. If you do it quickly, there won't be very many bees uh, to smash. 15 seconds. 